to the next video demonstration in this series of video demonstrations on Perl. Uh, in this demonstration we're going to talk about how to run system commands from within Perl. Because a very strong, uh, a very big strength about uh, Pro script programming is to uh, use script programming to make the system do stuff. So maybe you want to optimize adding users or you want to have a script that grabs information from the system for you or, or, or whatever or whatever it may be, but to utilize this or to do this, we have to find a way to execute system commands from within our script, and we also have to find a way to uh, capture the data that is uh, that is generated by the system commands, so that we can use uh, our programming language or our script program to fetch some data from using system commands and then modify it in our script in some way. Uh, so in this uh, video, we're going to look at two different ways to achieve this, and we're going uh, and we're going to do uh, use the script to run netstat and simply print the output of netstat. So just for information, netstat is a command that you can run from command line and is used to output all sorts of information about network connections and what ports the computer is listening to and so on and so forth. Um, so to in order to use Perl to run a system command, there's two different ways that we can do and we're, I'm going to show, show them both. The first is that we just uh, as I've done here, type the system commands uh, command that we want to run within backticks. So this little sign here is a backtick on a Swedish keyboard. You can type it by pressing shift and the button to the left of the backspace. So like so, and you have a backtick. And you just write the system command within the backticks. Uh, so if uh, what we've done here is basically that we're running netstat and if we want to capture the output of netstat to a variable we just declared a variable and an equal sign. So what we do here is that we declare the variable netstat and we assign that variable the value that is created when we do the system command netstat. So if I run this program now, I have to save it first. Um, if I run this program now, we should simply print a netstat because that's what we do here. We print a variable at the very end of the program. Uh, so I'm going to do Perl uh, systemcmd.pl and you see that we get the output of netstat. Uh, so that's the one way that we can use uh, Perl to run system commands and grab the, in the output. If I would just like to run netstat without grabbing the input, I would just do the backticks and that's that as uh, just as so, uh, but then I won't get the input into into Perl uh, or the output into Perl. So the next way that we can do this is I'm going to comment this away. Uh, I want to show you two things. First, uh, you see here that my dollar netstat variable two is getting the value of the system command netstat again, but this time I'm using the system command. So what I'm basically doing is that I'm writing system. And then with that, within a parenthesis, I can do the system command that I want to run. Uh, in this instance, I have to have either double or single quotes. Uh, if I have double quotes, you should know that when I have when you use double quotes, whatever is in here is interpreted. So, for instance, the variable here is interpreted with the contents of the variable, which in this case is system D. We're going to see the effect of that later. Uh, if I use single quote, then whatever is written in here will be interpreted as it is. So I, if I change this to single quotes, then the then it would send dollar grep instead of the value of dollar grep to the system. It's important to know that because it's a big reason for failure. Uh, so what we're basically trying to do here is running the system command again. We're running netstat, we're grepping for whatever is in the grep val variable, which is system D, and we're collecting it to the netstat2 variable. So I'm just going to run this quickly, and I'm going to explain a little bit more about what it does. So I've, uh, I'm running the script, and you see that we get a netstat output again. If you look carefully, you can see that the output up here uh, contains many lines with a little bit of everything, but if you look at the output down here, you can see that I'm only getting the lines that contains system D. And that's because I included a grep here. And grep in Linux is basically a filter. So I'm going to show you this again. If I just do ls here, uh, or go, do, go lsla, you see that I have all these, uh, all these different lines, but maybe I just want what is, uh, want some specific information. So I'm listening to 
listing the content of this folder, but maybe I want just to just list whatever files are named out. And I can achieve that, that if I add a pipe sign and then grep. A grep is basically a keyword that says that we're going to do a filter, and then I type in whatever I want to filter for, so in this case out, and you see that I only get the line here with out.txt. So I'm utilizing this here within the Perl script. So I'm going doing netstat, but I know from before that I only want the lines or the output from netstat that contains system D. So I have my variable here dollar grep that contains system D and then I'm doing netstat minus n pipe and then grep and dollar grep which is system D and then I'm printing that so the two ways to using system commands within Perl is either by backticks or by system and then having the system command within parentheses and if we want to capture the output of the system command to a variable we just create a variable and assign that with the value of the system command and we can print it or loop it or do whatever we want to it so that's it for this short video demonstration bye bye